Hi and welcome to Brick Maths. You already know how to compare fractions with the same denominator. Today we will learn how to compare fractions that have different denominators. Which fraction is greater? 3 quarters or 5 eighths? You might think 5 eighths because 5 and 8 are both larger numbers, but this would be incorrect. In order to compare them, we need to make the denominators the same. But how can we do that? We can use equivalent fractions. Can you remember how to find an equivalent fraction? The numerator and the denominator should be multiplied by the same number to ensure the fraction is equivalent. So if I multiply 4 by 2 to make 8, I need to multiply 3 by 2 as well. 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 quarters is equivalent to 6 eighths. Now that we've got the same denominator, we can clearly see which is the greater fraction. 6 eighths is greater than 5 eighths. Which means 3 quarters is greater than 5 eighths. Let's have another go. Which fraction is greater? 2 thirds or 7 ninths? Remember, we need to make the denominators the same to be able to compare them. So 3 is multiplied by 3 to get 9. So now we need to multiply the numerator by 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. So 2 thirds is equivalent to 6 ninths. Now that we've got the same denominator, we can clearly see which is the greater fraction. 6 ninths is less than 7 ninths, which means 2 thirds is less than 7 ninths. Fractions. Challenge 1. OK, so it's over to you now. Can you find out which fraction is greater? 2 fifths or 6 tenths? Pause the video to give you time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. How did you get on? Did you remember to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the same number? So 5 times 2 equals 10, and 2 times 2 equals 4. So 2 fifth is equivalent to 4 tenths. Did you manage to compare 4 tenths and 6 tenths? 4 tenths is less than 6 tenths, which means 2 fifth is less than 6 tenths. So now, we're going to learn how to order fractions that have different denominators. We're going to put these fractions in order from smallest to largest. To do this, we need to find a common denominator, which will be a multiple of all of these denominators. All of these denominators can be multiplied to make 8, so 8 is the common denominator. So let's find an equivalent fraction for each of these fractions, with 8 as the denominator. So 4 times 2 is 8, and 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 quarters is equivalent to 4 eighths. The next fraction already has 8 as its denominator, so we don't need to find an equivalent fraction. So the next fraction is 1 half. So 2 times 4 equals 8, and 1 times 4 equals 4. So 1 half is equal to 4 eighths. And the last fraction is 3 quarters. So 4 times 2 equals 8, 3 times 2 equals 6, so 3 quarters is equivalent to 6 eighths. So now that they all have the same denominator, we can put them in order by looking at their numerators. The smallest fraction is 4 eighths, which were 2 quarters and 1 half. The next fraction is 6 eighths, which was 3 quarters. And finally, the largest fraction is 7 eighths. Fractions Challenge 2 So it's over to you now. I want you to have a go at putting these fractions in order from smallest to largest. Pause the video to give you time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. So first, we need to find a common denominator. All of these denominators can be multiplied to make 10, so 10 is the common denominator. So let's find an equivalent fraction for each of these fractions, with 10 as the denominator. So 5 times 2 equals 10, and 3 times 2 equals 6. So 3 fifth 
is equivalent to 6 tenths. The next fraction is 1 half. So 2 times 5 equals 10, and 1 times 5 equals 5. So 1 half is equivalent to 5 tenths. The next fraction is 7 tenths, and it already has 10 as its denominator. The next fraction is 2 halves. So 2 times 5 equals 10, and 2 times 5 equals 10. So 2 halves is equivalent to 10 tenths. So now that they all have the same denominator, we can put them in order by looking at their numerators. The smallest fraction is 5 tenths, which was 1 half. The next fraction is 6 tenths, which was 3 fifths. The fraction after that is 7 tenths. And finally, the largest fraction is 10 tenths, which was 2 halves, which is the same as 1 whole. So that's it for comparing and ordering fractions part 2. If you want to keep learning, keep an eye out for more videos by Brick Maths. Bye for now.